Hi guys, welcome to Cashed Out Cars. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to replace the rear coil springs in your Volkswagen. This tutorial is gonna be a great general guide if you have a Passat, a Golf, a Jetta, and honestly, most Volkswagen models. The first thing that you need to do is get your car safely up on jack stands so you could work under the rear of it. Take a look in your owner's manual to see where the jacking points are on your specific car, but on most you'll have a jacking point about here on each side where you could put a jack stand to support the car. I also like to put some extra jack stands under there in other locations in case a jack stand fails because safety is number one and you absolutely do not want a car falling on you. Once you're sure that your car is safely up on stands, you need to go ahead and get this wheel and tire off, which I'm going to do now. If your car has these lug nut caps, which a lot of Volkswagens do, you need to go ahead and pull them out. They do come with a factory puller, but that's pretty easy to lose, so you may or may not still have that in your car. Then you have access to the lug bolts, and you could just take those out. And now with that super quick pit stop, we could go ahead and remove the wheel and tire. And with the wheel off, we now have access to the coil spring and the suspension arm that we need to move in order to get the coil spring out. So basically what we need to do is disconnect the suspension arm at this side. There's a bolt down there which we'll need to get out, which I'll show you in a sec. And we're gonna move this suspension arm down this way to take pressure off of that spring and then we could take it out, put the new one in, and put it all back together. This bolt there is the one that we need to take out. There is a nut on the other side, which I'm gonna wire brush and hit with a lot of penetrant oil to make sure that it's fairly easy to get out. The more time and effort you put in now to get the rust off, the easier this thing will be to actually take off. Hitting the like button on this video will give you good luck with this bolt and it'll make it a lot easier so don't forget to do that. Anyway, once I removed as much rust as I could with the wire brush and soaked the thing in oil, it was time to remove it. I had some help to hold the nut and I used an impact gun to remove it. This can also be done with two wrenches or a wrench and a breaker bar if you're feeling pretty strong. It is very important to make sure that you only remove the nut at this point and that you're not backing the bolt out. You could also put a jack under it before you even start removing the nut to be extra safe, but it does tend to get in the way while you're doing this. The reason that you want to be extra careful here is that the suspension arm is under a lot of energy from that spring right now and it's extremely spring loaded. If you take the bolt out without anything under it, it's going to fire down and could cause a lot of damage to you and the car so you need to be very careful. As you can see here, I carefully took the nut off, making sure that the suspension bolt was not backing out, and then I used a jack to put some pressure on the suspension arm. You'll need to look at the bolt to see if it's lined up straight with the hole as it comes out. If it's lined up nicely, this will let you know that you have the proper amount of pressure applied from the jack, and it will allow you to remove the suspension bolt more easily because there won't be pressure on it. If you start backing the thing out and it gets crooked, you need to put more or less pressure on with the jack and it will be much easier to take out. Once the bolt is all the way out of the way, it's time to lower down your suspension arm in a nice controlled fashion. I carefully and slowly lowered down my jack in a nice controlled sweep. Once again, safety is number one and these springs could do a lot of damage, so be smart and be safe when you're working on any kind of job like this. Anyway, once your suspension arm is low enough that there won't be any pressure left on it, you'll be able to get the spring out of the rubber spring perch that is in the suspension arm. This will just take a little bit of pulling and tugging and it'll pop right out. Next, we could get our replacement spring ready to go in. If you're reusing the rubber part, you just need to pop that off and that'll press right onto your next spring. Just like that. And then we just need to seat this down in the seat that is on that suspension arm there. And to do that, I like to put a little bit of lubricant on here to help it pop into the rubber seat. And then you'll be all set to put the spring back in place and put your suspension back up, which I'll show you now. Thank you. 
This does have a specific orientation. The bottom of the coil spring needs to go against the tab on that rubber stop at the bottom. There. To get the spring back into place, we need to line up the top of this rubber part with this little piece that comes down off of the chassis of the car. It'll just slip into place and then we could go ahead and get the suspension back together. Now we need to go ahead and use our jack to lift the suspension back up into place. Next, you can put your suspension back together. Keep in mind that these suspension bolts are often stretch bolts and that they might need to be replaced, so do some research. Once your suspension is lined up well, the bolt will start. You could go ahead and slide it in and then check from the other side to make sure that it's straight. If it's not, go ahead and make adjustments with the jack to fix that. Then you could finish installing the bolt and the nut and tighten it down. The torque spec that you're going to need will vary depending on your model and your year. So do a quick internet search and see what the value should be and torque it down to that. And congratulations, you've now successfully installed new rear coil springs in your Volkswagen. Now all that's left is to smash the like button, finish up your world record pit stop and make sure your wheels are torqued down properly and you'll be good to go. And so guys, with all that, that's going to wrap up this video. Let us know down below what make and model you're changing springs in and if you're putting lowering springs in or replacing them because something broke. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, subscribe for more, and I hope you stick around for the next one. Take care.